Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see from the title of the video and the thumbnail, today I'm going to show you a very easy fix uh, if your Crisis Remastered game is crashing like uh, uh, it is doing on uh, my PC. And basically, yeah, like you guys, uh, I was very excited for the game. I immediately downloaded it and began playing with the game. And yeah, to tell you the truth, the uh, the first impression was uh, was a little bit wow, and obviously seeing all the reflections and RTX uh, or let's say ray tracing uh, goodies uh, working on the game. But uh, yeah, at the same time, I was a little bit disappointed because the performance hit was huge, and it is. Uh, like the meme on this game says, can it run Crisis? And basically, the new Crisis will uh, will give a very hard time even to newly PCs. Uh, and I don't know if I was uh, more disappointed about my PC that couldn't handle the game, or if I was more disappointed about the developers that haven't maybe uh, maybe optimize the game very good like uh, it was back on 2007 but yeah definitely you need to keep in mind that the running crisis 2020 edition remastered edition is going truly to be but can need to run crisis anyway we're not here to talk about this because i'm working on that showing you guys the difference uh in the performance and maybe the difference uh, between the original 2007 crisis and the new 2020 crisis but obviously that is going to be for another video in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can fix the crash if you are having uh, the same crash as me so basically when i play the game uh, in about maybe 15 minutes to 20 minutes um, a maximum of 30 minutes the game just crashed uh, it closed itself with no notification and jumped back uh, uh, to the desktop and the um, way you can fix this crash is very easy uh, basically this was uh, the solution for me so hopefully it's the same for you and what you need to do basically the first thing uh, obviously is to go ahead and have the latest drivers uh, for your graphics card and obviously the latest updates uh, for the windows that's uh, uh, the most basic thing that you can do if this doesn't work for you as it didn't work for me because I did the same thing but uh, updating the drivers and the windows did not work the fix was very simple basically I use MSI Afterburner as an overclocking program for my GPU and yeah unfortunately uh, it's true that I can get like uh, 5 to 10 percent increase uh, in FPS by uh, overclocking my GPU but unfortunately yet again this application uh, made my game crash so basically if I uh, close the MSI Afterburner overclocking pro program that I use for all of my games, uh, obviously, uh, then the game doesn't crash anymore. So if you are using Afterburner or maybe Trix or maybe uh, EVGA Precision or any other application that you might have for overclocking, you need to close this application uh, at all from your system so basically close it um, in here but make sure even on the task manager that uh, the app this application is closed and then try again play with the game and see if the problem is uh, fixed basically as i uh, already told you this uh, fixed my uh, uh, my crashing of the game and the crash might be at the start of the game uh, but usually my crash was during the gameplay so um so this was my fix and i noticed and found this solution because whenever i had the crash of the game and jumped back uh, into the desktop when i went uh, on the afterburner even though i had my overclocking uh, applied in here the clocks and all the the other settings were um, uh, were drawn back to default settings which is this one in here so basically that made me a little bit suspicious that uh, this game uh, might have some problems with this uh, overclocking software so uh, yeah basically that was uh, my solution you obviously can try uh, other stuff um, like maybe getting um, an exclusion on your antivirus or maybe uh, use the application and open the application epic games launcher itself and the game itself as an administrator you can try 
uh, this trick also uh, but yeah basically that was uh, a very easy fix for me and uh, again i lose a little bit uh, of performance from five to ten percent but yeah unfortunately i need to play the game and i need the game not to crash and after i closed afterburner again my game didn't crash uh, at all yeah, so that was it for today hopefully this problem or this method fixes your problem or your crash that you might have with the uh, new crisis remastered or 2020 edition and you guys can have a good time and enjoy uh, that beautiful uh, masterpiece because although the game is still from the era of 2007 uh, i consider this game to be a masterpiece at least for uh, for the graphical settings uh, that uh, that bring to the table at that particular time and apparently they did it again with the remaster 2020 edition because again it doesn't matter what pc you have if you uh, get this game and if you get it over 1440p 4k with all the goodies uh, on at can it run crisis well it will basically be can it run crisis for you because i think it will not so you have to crank down many many options to be able to uh, to get this game at playable frame rate but even at the medium settings to high settings the game looks gorgeous uh, so yeah as i told you at the beginning stay tuned because i'm working on doing a comparison with uh, the old version of the game all right then so that was it for today thank you very much for watching guys as always don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also turn notifications so you never miss one of my new videos and as always i will catch you guys on the next one bye bye